Today I've travelled to Stockport, I'm here at Manufax. Now this company has a great relationship, not just with Coria, but DTS as well as the supplier. Uh, they have nine Coria machines, would you believe, here. And I'm going to go and talk with David Baines about the most recent purchase. David, what company do you have here, Manufax, uh, here in Stockport? You're a, what I'd class as a real industrial business, aren't you? Some of the work going through here is tremendous. Yeah, we've got a large variety of work going through. Uh, we work for all the sectors, manufacturing sectors. We're a subcontract company. And yeah, there's a lot going on. We were only discussing earlier about when we move around the country, we, the further north we go, the, the heavier the engineering seems to be. Um, hence the need for a machine like this here from Coria. Now this is an Axia machine. What's its main purpose here at the company? This, like you say, is taking on the heavier machining side of things. We've got an eight metre capacity on this. Uh, before this we had, our next biggest capacity was five metres. Um, and just as things keep progressing, we have to keep going with what our clients ask of us. Um, quite apt, this ram's moving out. Let's start with that because it's a really impressive part of what yep. this machine offers, isn't it? Now, tell me about the box-in-box -box construction because we talk about industrial engineering, heavy cuts, yep. big machining. You need that, don't you? Yeah, how's it built? We do. Um, when we were looking at the, this new machine, uh, we had a lot of companies we were looking at. This won it because of the box-in-box -box construction. It's solid. You've got the ram inside a box, which then on the column is inside another box, which means we can take heavy cuts in both directions and it's not drooping off the column. Because some, um, some, some rams are only good for, for one direction, aren't Correct, they? Correct, when so, you're pushing against the column. Yeah, so yeah. what you need to do is plan your machining around that, but with here, it gives you total flexibility. Correct, we don't need to do that at all. And when the ram is extended, there's also um, like some shoes or some... Um, there's a droop. Yeah, uh, compensation secu into it as well. Yeah, and, and there's also a locking mechanism which locks it That's into right. place. The wedges come up and they lock into position. So it's very firm, so it gives you uh, everything it's very you solid machine. What yeah. are you actually putting through here? I know we've got a couple of large blocks here, David, but what would come on this machine? Oh, we put all kinds of things through here. We have fabrications that come through here, moulds. Uh, we're doing a lot of Invar mould tools at the moment for aerospace and for military purposes as well. Uh, you've got a tool changer on here, which is of, uh, of course paramount for a machine like this as well, yep. isn't it? Um, it is. The actual whole, the whole uh, offering of the machine is quite advanced. I know we mentioned the RAM, but by having multiple tool stations on here gives you the, the ability to, to really you know, offer you more flexibility. It does offer a lot of flexibility and we can almost run this unmanned when we've got long cutting cycles, we can put multiple tools in where we do automatic tool changes at the end of a tool life. And so we can run uh, overnight unmanned if we need to. How long does it take to install one of these? And what did you have to do? Because I can see it, it, it's not just sitting on the, uh, on, on the floor, is it? You've had to build foundations for yeah, this. Yeah, there is a huge foundation in here. It's over 30 foot deep. Uh, there's a lot of concrete gone in it and it took over three months to put the machine in. Right, okay. The beauty of it as well though is the fact that the column moves left to right, so you're not trying to lug heavy parts, are you? Some machines right. where you've got maybe eight, ten metre tables, if you're having to move these, these heavy engineered components, that can put a lot of strain onto a machine. Here, they're all just straight on the ground. You're dead right, yeah, the, the, it just straight onto the table, just clamp her down and away we go, and the, there's no uh, restriction on the size and weight of the job. What's the hardest job you put through it, do you think, putting you on the spot? <laughs> Because it's some, it's some RAM, isn't it? I mean, you really can remove material. We Is there can. anything specific that you've done for an industry that you can think of and go, wow, that was, that was something special? There, were, there was a drill tool that we did for um, one of our blue chip companies uh, in the aerospace sector. Uh, it started off as a solid aluminium billet that was over tw uh, 15 inches thick, being machined down. It's only now inch and a half thick and it's contoured. When we were cutting this on here, it was like it was snowing. The material was all over the place and it performed absolutely beautiful, good, good. As, as expected. Well, what about that head here as well? I mean, how many positions can you get to? Because this was quite a, uh, quite a um, well, one of the big reasons you, you invested in Courier as well, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the head is a UAD head. Uh, there's two gimbals on there and each gimbal can position to 0 0.02 of a degree. So that's 18,000 per uh, gimbal. That gives us 324 million positions that it goes to. 
and when the head goes to the position, it pulls back, locks off on the hearth coupling, so again, it's solid, and there's over two and a half tons of force locking that head in. So that clamping force, two and a half tons, just securing it in yes. place. Um, have you done any jobs where you've needed to get to 324 million positions? Not yet. Or are you likely to? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, yes. <laughs> but that does, in all seriousness, that really gives you the ability to get into the intricate um, component manufacture, doesn't it? There's no restrictions. Yeah, well, the beauty of it is its repeatability as well. Um, it's better than actually our synchronous five axis that we've got in the other bay because it will repeat to that position. And so when we're doing board holes, which we do a lot of, true fa full five axis holes, repeat every time. So if you want, you wouldn't recut the hole is what you're saying, you'd go in and, and, and machine the hole, come away if you needed to go back in again. Some machines may go in and recut, might then, which would affect right. the accuracy of the part. It, it will, this doesn't happen. No, you'd go in, you'd go and drill it, you'd bore it and then finish bore it with the different tools and every time it bang on in the same position. Um, when you buy like a VMC or a, a lathe, which you have here, sometimes you don't have to worry too much about the installation and who's doing that because it's quite a simple straightforward process this is a little bit different you've got perimeter guarding around here you've got the foundations that you talk about everything that goes into making this aligned and put together correctly DTS did all this for you yeah. went together well very well DTS fully supported us we've got a long history with DTS and they've been absolutely fantastic uh, being able to organize it implement it do it end-to-end without any hitches.